if we look at Matthew's message, I was hungry and you gave me to eat, I was thirsty, you gave me to drink, I was naked and you covered me, I was homeless and you took me in, I was not educated and you educated me. So it's actually a direct response to Matthew's message of helping those in need. Brother Thomas Farrell, who was the pre first president of the university, was a very good friend with the members of the Jewish community. And through the years, uh, Brother Robert, myself, I've always had an excellent relationship with the Jewish community. I always tried, if possible, to make some amends because I'm fully conscious of the horrible uh, programs that have, have taken place through century, I fully realize that even the Holocaust was basically coming from a tradition of disrespect for the Jewish community. You have to really go to the third world to see the striking difference that exists between what happens here in the United States and what happens in the third world. Students who will spend some time in the third world very soon will see that they are invited, they are challenged to, to do something for others. In Uganda, one person out of 10 lives in a decent home. One person out of seven has electricity in the home. So six out of seven, no electricity whatsoever. One family out of nine has running water in the home. So when they see that and they see how the people live, then they say, what can I do? I'm so blessed, don't I have an obligation to do something for others also? If I listen to my mother and father, I should be very modest. My parents always said, you do the work that you have to do, and then don't worry about whatever roles you're playing. You know, as long as you can help others, go ahead and do it. So if I can be of service as a honorary chair, that's fine. But uh, as far as the recognition, my, pa my parents would say, don't forget, I know you well enough. Don't brag, don't, don't tell me about anything. I know, what, I know exactly how you are and I know exactly what your limitations are. So don't you come and brag to me ever. <laughs> I think what I'm most proud of is that I was a teacher all my life. But I started to teach in 1949, and I taught until 211. I joined the community of the Brothers of Christian Instruction to be a teacher. It was not to be a religious, it was not to be an administrator, it was to be a teacher. And uh, I really enjoyed the profession, and I, I'm very proud when I see somebody joining a teaching profession.